Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG and Scroll of Tai Wu. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the way to 9,000 and we're closer every single day. But I hope everyone had a good Christmas and Boxing Day. I was very much in recovery yesterday. Hangovers are real. My God. But anyway, we're back into it. Long story short, shortly after I start recording the last episode of this, she, this crazy assassin lady, ended up professing her love to me and quite frankly i was too afraid to say no so we're like married or something now uh yeah look i'm just gonna get the boat and leave this place even though she's coming with me look i'll escape from her one day you return to the small village outside the valley. The fire has long been extinguished. After you search around, you found the boat, which hadn't suffered much damage. It appears there was no one in the village, though, and thinking back to your previous encounter, was it a dream? A secure boat, thank you. So is everyone else just gone? Is that... They're all dead? But I saved them. Whatever. I don't make these rules. We're leaving. Wait. Oh, damn it. I should have checked if I could steal all their stuff. Oh, it's too late. It's too late. You come back to the shore of the river and you see a figure kneeling in front of the old Taoist's grave. As you get closer, you didn't expect it was Arnyo, Taoist master. You say, do good deeds and you can live a long and safe life, but the people you save will harm you. In the end, we still save people. Doesn't that count as good? He stood up and bowed down to you. Thank you for saving my life. You come back from the dead, you seem to be a different person. Earlier in the village fire, I was in a trance and lost myself to a black fog. If your sword didn't cut through it and save me, I'm afraid I would have been buried alive. So he was hallucinating. Now that the tower's master has been martyred, I have no further attachments to this place. If you don't mind, could you let me follow you around to repay the kindness of saving my life? Okay, man. Why not? Why not? Welcome to the team. We're really a bunch of weirdos. Pay respects to the dead. Poor man. Whatever he deserved, it wasn't that. Alright, we're leaving. We're finally... Finally escaping. As you put the old Dower's boat into the river, you feel that the width of the boat and the depth of the boat is just right. Although the river's turbulent, this boat is as stable as a mountain. It must have been specifically made for the purpose of crossing this river. Easy enough. Crap. What do you mean? There we go. I'm a genius. That monkey's carrying three people now. After you cross the dark river at the bottom of the mountain, you had a clear view ahead. You saw rivers and mountains like Brocard, and the world was vast and boundless. Since you were seven, you've lived in the deep valley with your father and lived an isolated life. What I saw in my eyes was only a few peaks and streams in the valley. What I heard in my ears was only a few sparrows and apes in the valley. Now I've come out, I can't help but feel like I'm in a different world. The world's so big, I don't know where to take my steps. Where will I end up after I find my father? Will I still go back to the deep valley? The land is so amazing, I wonder how many interesting things are waiting for me ahead. Alright, we're going to Taiwu Village. How big is it though? Okay, so each area I go to... He's only going to be a set area. It's not going to be like one gigantic map. I hope. What's this? Your teammate is seriously injured, causing their health to decrease every month. You've done nothing! What do you mean? Well, you're just going to die then. It is what it is. I tried. On we go. Look at all these people. Holy crap. Look at all these humans! So I gotta explore the place and find a way to reach the village itself. You follow the road and come to a pavilion, but you see the stables are empty, the house is skewed. The former place of traffic now has become a place of decay and depression. 200 silvers for a horse-drawn carriage, 100 for an ox-drawn carriage, plus 100 more for Basho and Suzhou and Hangzhou. Do you want to transport goods or do you want to travel yourself? Just as you're about to turn around and leave, a coachman skillfully shouted and came out of the pavilion. Though this place has been deserted, the people have mostly fled. This ancestral post station can never be lost. I am Agana Taiwu Village, please take me. Taiwu Village. He looked you up and down several times. This is strange. 
We usually just give people a guide. We never ask the past or future. For thousands, I'll take you there. Damn. I could afford it, to be fair. But will I get another chance to, to talk to this guy again? Eh, fuck yeah. What's the worst that could happen? So if I go back... Okay. Alright, we're good. We've got shops now. Let's go. Holy f... You got some things. None of which is particularly useful to me right now, mostly because I don't know what anything really does. Okay, she sells very nice things. The real question is, what do I need? Okay, I need helmet, armor, arm guard, and leg wear. Okay, so I got a set of armor. It cost a lot, 3.7k. I, I can't even sell anything, really. But, who cares? Because... I am much stronger now. I do need more trinkets. Two more trinkets. Okay. I am well and truly set. I am strong. I do need better weapons though. One thing at a time. Okay, so I could pay him outright to go and do it. But I could also go and explore. Oh lord. Oh lord. Crazy assassin lady. She, she did it. I guess we're getting married. Well. Set a three life contract? For three lives? Well, shit. Oh, I immediately just got into trouble. That's fine. I have two helpers. Here, come on. Let's go. Oh, yeah, this new spear. Sick. Well, I say spear. Wait, can I? True chi. Oh, that's cool. Pull him. So that's like good for a dodge, I see. That's pretty cool. Goodbye. And now I know what companions are capable of. Well, carpentry principles when you know, except having half pages completely fucks me on it. Not ideal. Huizhou destroyed land. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Oh! This might be very dangerous. Run away. Demoniac. What does that mean? Run. I'll face, I'll face the corrupted, but everything else scares me. Okay, maybe I came to the scary place. There's just death everywhere. Oh, a brown bear. Assault. Seems like a very dangerous and tough animal. <sighs> okay, fine. Oh, come on. Fine. Fine. We fight the brown bear. It's not like I have a choice. Oh god. Oh, I need to get out of his... Oh god. Okay, we're good. It's a good thing I can block... Wow, this bear is strong. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's got a lot of health. We're gonna need to just deal with that. Oh my god, it's got so much health. Okay, wait. So, slight downsides with uh, this weapon is that it costs two to launch an attack, which is expensive. Oh my god, finally. Holy shit, that bear was strong. Alright, I didn't think I'd beat someone who was literally more than twice as strong as me, this friggin' cultist, but here we are. I have no idea how I'm doing it. It could just be that it's on easy. I mean, I she swapped to a weapon that couldn't reach me for a while, which seemed a bit stupid. 
but she also doesn't seem to hit as much and I think that is much to do with the difficulty. Either way, I've been in these forgotten lands for too damn long. Nailed it! Holy crap, that was hard. Inner art skill manual. For a blacksmith? God damn it. Defeating an opponent when one's realm of purity is three or more below that of the opponent. Yeah, look, that's fair. I clapped that dude. Yeah, I've been just running through this forgotten area. It's very dangerous. It is. I don't want to fight a demoniac. That just sounds terrifying. Just why is the whole place surrounded by this dead land? I don't... Anyway, back to the actual uh, little city that sits in the middle of the dead. When you first arrive at the Fortress of the Dead, you see that although it's simple everywhere, the people in the fortress are not weak in spirit. A few people are practicing martial arts in the open ground on the forest. You remember your adoptive father calling this kind of kung fu the Lion Face Clan Kung Fu. After some poking around, a few enthusiastic villagers said to you, This fortress has a long history. The head of the fortress has been passed down for more than ten generations. Because this place is remote and many strangers came here, the fortress was renamed to Deadstream Fortress. But more and more troubles came and there are villains that do evil. Thanks to the last old owner of the fortress, the villains were expelled and the fortress was kept safe. Okay, that doesn't really answer like any of my questions. Castellan, hello. Holy shit, he is strong. Yeah, we're just gonna chat nicely. We'll spread grace. Oh, I have to have a higher relationship with the area. Fair enough. So literally all of the other area is just evil. You are not supposed to go there, clearly. So we're going to go to Tywood. Take your damn mother though. It is good money fighting the trash. Let's check. Yeah, okay. It's not spectacular money. Got a bunch of books now. I'm not too sure on the point of even reading these fine arts books if or any books if the like I don't have them finished because you can see half pages here if they're half pages I can't use them to break through so you know the question comes you know what's the point what's the point I'm just got shit filled with half pages the only thing I can break through is when they're not half pages which is annoying Oh, I see. So, what I learn in the fine arts actually gives me, like, percentage stats. Okay. Alright, that makes by more sense. Higher talent I have in it, the better the... I mean, I assume, the better the result. Attack plus 4%. Interesting. Alright, take me away. Great, let's get on our way. If I hadn't gone with my uncle when I was six years old, the road to Taiwo Village, no one here would really know it. He received a money smiling happily and he neatly arranged the carriage and was ready to go immediately. Alright, take me away. It's going to be filled with demons or some shit. The carriage and horse was bumpy all the way. You were bored and dozed off in the carriage. You didn't know how long, but you woke up again. And the carriage driver has left. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. I guess I didn't need... The carriage driver. So that's Taiwu Village, but there's also another one, you say. Let's go exploring! What a lovely place. Brilliant scenery. Absolutely wonderful. Property prices here are going to skyrocket. Oh, yeah, Taiwu Village. You were an absolute mission to get to. The place is sparsely populated, only a few dilapidated thatched houses are scattered not far from the short slope and among the grass. You were wondering when this is Taiwu Village when suddenly a sound of fighting and cursing came from not far in front of you. You followed the sound, seeing five or six reckless men escorting a prison car with a wounded tower's nun fighting. You hear the mangled man at the head of the group shout, Demon Path of the Ransan Sect. You followed us all the way to Taiwu Village. What's your intention? I was curious, so I wanted to follow you. Oh my god. Bro, what do you mean? I shouldn't get involved. 
Just when you were hiding in a secret place and ready to see what would happen, a hissing sound suddenly came from the prison car that the disciples were escorting. Inside the closed prisoner car, it seems that there's some kind of fierce beast that has begun to ram against the car door. When the disciples saw this, they all looked ash and ignoring the enemy on the side, and they went back to the prisoner car, each pulling the steel chains that closed the door with deadly force. The beast in prison there must be very powerful. Let's let it out. A few moments later, the situation suddenly rose and fell. The commotion inside the prison car came to an abrupt end, and the surrounding area fell into dead silence. The lion-faced clan disciples breathed a long sigh of relief and sat on the ground, and the wounded Ranchan sect disciples have also taken advantage of the chaos to flee. After a short rest, the disciples regrouped and continued their escort of the prisoner's carriage without a word and marched to the village of Taiwu. You just stepped into Taiwu village and you see a familiar figure quickly walking into a vermilion ancestral hall in the village. It's father. You lose sight of him and after a short time an old woman comes out. Have you seen an old man going inside? The old woman heard a voice, hesitated for a moment and laughed. This old body surnamed Fung, not only are my eyes bad, but so are my ears. Well, that's not helpful. Taiwu clan ancestral hall is very small. You can look around and maybe find the person. Granny Fung suddenly shuddered like she was struck by electricity and exclaimed, Ancestral recognition. This is the Taiwu ancestral hall. Do you have the surname Taiwu? Well... Sort of. This place is called Taiwu Village, but I can't have the surname Taiwu. You can have whatever surname you want, only Taiwu. She suddenly stood still and sternly shouted, Since you say Taiwu, do you have proof? Oh yeah, let's just take out the hilt. She took the Fuyu sword hilt from you and touched the pattern on the hilt over and over, with a sometimes joyful, sometimes sorrowful look on her face. That's right, exactly the same. Two lines of tears are running down her pale face. You come with me, she said softly, and then slowly turned around and walked towards the back of the hall. You follow behind her as she walked through the Taiwu ancestral hall and came to an open space with 16 large stone monuments, the centre of which was a particularly tall one with the words Taiwu carved on it. Hundreds of years ago, no one in the world was not harmed by the Shrang Shu. It can be said that the rites and music are in ruins, everyone is miserable, the world is in chaos. At that time, there was only one person who had the method to exorcise the evil, but was born weak and sick and couldn't fight for a long time. So the great masters of martial arts gathered here and taught them all their divine skills. This man calls himself Tai Wu, and is the ancestor of Tai Wu. Xi Yang Shu is not a person or a monster, but a demon. Once a mortal's harmed by them, He'll lose his mind and become an evil spirit that does nothing but harm. Well, we've seen that before, haven't we? Now you see, there can be only one Tai Wu at a particular time. Near death's door draws the former, forward carries the latter. As soon as she stopped, she stood up and placed the Fuyu Hill into the slot in the steli, a perfect fit, as expected. You're totally stunned. I understand you won't be convinced with only a few words, so come with me. and Don't be scared by what you're about to see. The two of you leave the hall and go to in front of a stone house at the back of the hill and you see that it's surrounded by nameless graves and a prisoner's cart was parked next to it. The same one you saw outside the village, only now the chains had been unlocked and it was empty inside. This is it. You entered the stone house and you see a man bound by dozens of black chains in the centre of the house. His face is hideous and his strength is immense. Every time he struggles he can make cup thick chain pull a deep dent in the boulder. You immediately understood that this person must be the beast imprisoned in the previous prison car. Is this a human or a monster? This person was originally a lion-faced clan disciple. Only because of Shang Shu did this human turn into this thing with a ghostly appearance. Whether the legend is true or not, one test will tell. She hands the hilt back to you and bowed three times to the west and said... Holding the sword in your left hand, pointing at the heaven and earth in vain, your heart enters the silence of the underworld. Breaking your dreams and leaving the dust, all phases of demented suffering. No one is free of the net. No one is free from the snare. Seeing me is not me. No self is no devil. Good God. I'm about to have a hallucination. You don't know how long has passed. You slowly opened your eyes and hope that you haven't been out for too long. Tai Wu, wake up. Tai Wu is awake. While you were wondering what was happening, a girl's voice suddenly sounded outside the window and then many villagers poured in. The girl was the first to grab the bed and look at you with smiling eyes. Who are you? How did I get here? That lion-faced clan madman was cured by you. 
He was kowtowing to you so much that his head broke. Later you fainted and the group was busy taking care of you and the madman went somewhere. Where's the granny gone? Granny Fung, who is it? We Thai, we village don't have an old lady named Fung. Okay. So only I could see her? Standard. Granny Fung from the Ancestral Hall of Tai Wu. That Tai Wu clan Ancestral Hall has been demolished by the bad guys many times. Where is it still? The villagers brought you to the Tai Wu clan Ancestral Hall not far away. You look around and vaguely remember the surrounding scenery. Though the 16 stone monuments among the ruins and the stone houses surrounded by burial mounds, whereas they had been before, the Vermilion Ancestral Hall had been turned into old ruins. What is happening? There's some timey-wimey shit going on. She sees you with an overwhelmed look and quietly pulls on your sleeve. I heard many old people say outside our village there's an ancient tomb, and that tomb has a tomb immortal. He knows everything. Why don't you go ask him? Unfortunately, I heard that he doesn't like children. Immortals become righteous by loving all beings. How will they hate children? What a joke. Ah! Oh, does this mean I have just got my first village? Oh, let's go. I have unlocked things and stuff. Ancestral hall, I can build it. What else can I do? I can only build that. Okay. Build it! You fools! Build! Put it right there. Oh, I can remove ruins and all that. Remove woodlands. Okay, so this is going to be my first... I suppose the start of my Tai Wu sect, because that's what it's going to fucking be. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave this one here. I've arrived at Tai Wu and I have taken over. It's all in the plan. But don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Link to the BBG Discord is in the description below. More of this coming out basically when I make it. As well as a new kind of uh, video coming out towards the end of the year. Like in the next few days kind of thing. But anyway, as always, have a great day.